Excellent. This is the best time of the week. Half an hour where you can relax, rest, let go, disappear and just be at peace. You can't make peace. You let peace into your heart. It is to allow it to be. All of your past, no matter what happened, all of your future, no matter what's going to happen. Instead, we're just right here, right now, letting this moment be and enjoying just being here. But it's not just that mindfulness, it's adding the kindness. Please be kind. And the first thing we're kind to is our own body. How do you feel right now? And I usually, as you all know, I usually start with a scan of my body, starting just with my feet. It's like I'm checking in with them. Like I check in with some of you. How are you today? How do you feel? Is there anything I can do to make you more peaceful, more content? And I have that conversation starting with my feet. How are you, feet? And sometimes if there's an itch there, I just scratch it, just out of kindness. And from my feet, I move upwards to my ankles. How are you, ankles? Do you want to be adjusted to be more comfortable? A lot of time, it's the attitude of kindness, of caring. When I start by caring for my body, I go up my legs, my calves, to my knees. And over the years, you get very skilled at caring for things even like the feeling sensations in your knees. And often I do this when I go to, to bed at night. Just and if you can't fall asleep straight away, you just do a little scan of your body, relaxing as you go. And often you don't get much further than your, uh, the top of your legs, your butt. By then you're so relaxed, you fall asleep. So I find my knees are comfortable. Go further up the thighs, again to the butt. Because I'm sitting like this, not lying down, it's psychologically I know that this is meditation time, not sleepy time. So I don't fall asleep as my body relaxes. I just enjoy the experience of relaxation. And once my thighs are relaxed and the buttocks are relaxed, what I mean by relaxed, I can feel the pressure on the buttocks. Just make sure it's just evenly s distributed. Especially because I wear robes. Make sure there's no folds of the robes biting into the skin. And if there are, I would adjust those robes. And move upwards to the waist. And I usually just like to bring the waist in and stretch the back up. It makes me feel comfortable. But you find out how your waist can be as comfortable as you possibly can make it. If you're on a chair, do you need to lean back or lean forward? Which is the best for you? And then I scan my attention up my back. You can feel it just scanning up the body on the inside. Just feel the cup of tea which I had before I came out into the reception area. Go up to my stomach. That's all comfy. If I did have any tummy ache, I would just stay there for a little while. As the mindfulness sweeps up the body, I make sure I add the kindness 
So it does become kindfulness. If there's any irritation or pain, my role is not to cure it, it's actually out this beautiful care. My body is old, so sometimes it will have aches. I care for them. The major thing is, my goal is not to cure, but to care. And the cure happens automatically. The power of kindness is huge. And as I go further up my body, to my lungs, And often I just imagine the air which I breathe in. It's very pure in this part of the world. And it's a gift from all that is green, the flowers, the grass, the trees. And I breathe out carbon dioxide, which is my gift back to those trees and plants and all that is green. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but it's a beautiful way of feeling that connection with nature. And it heals any problems you may have in your lungs. I go to my heart region. I relax everything there. To make sure the blood is all being pump through nice and smoothly out to my shoulders. Relax the shoulders by making sure that nothing is being held tightly. I just often imagine my shoulders like strings on either side of the top of my vertebrae. And they're being pulled stretched, strained. And my job is to loosen both ends, like a guitar where there's no tension at all on any of the strings. And then it feels relaxed and at ease. And I'm mindful, I'm aware when things are relaxed and when they're tight. And I care. I go down the arms, past my elbows, wrists, to hands. And always kind of I just ask my fingers, are you okay? Like I would ask the monk sitting next to me, are you okay? Anything I can do to help? He's supposed to be my attendant. But as I keep on saying, and there's a lot of truth to it, I attend more on my attendance than they attend on me. Thank you for letting me do that. So I ask my fingers, how are you? And they want to be moved, so I move them. I go up to my neck. And the neck is important. As long as the head is well balanced on top of the neck, then my neck feels fine. And lastly, the muscles on the front of my face. I just feel them, sensitive to them. Is there any tightness around my eyes, around my nose, around my mouth? And over the years, by trial and error, I've learned how to relax those muscles. And with them, any sort of emotional uh, you might call it disturbance, which causes those muscles to tense up. So that is released too. So the whole of my face feels at ease. It allows me to smile naturally. No tightness there anywhere. And once I've relaxed that, these are the main parts of the body which are 
quite easy to relax. And now I look at the whole of my body just sitting here. And I join it all together. The reason I do that, it's happened again. The reason I do that is because when I feel my body as a whole, really relaxed, more than usual, it feels pleasant. There's a joy involved. I don't make it joyful, it just happens by itself. I enjoy sitting in a very, very relaxed body. And when I feel that delight, the relaxation goes even deeper. I enjoy that, like I enjoy much of meditation. And then I go to the world of the mind. When my body's at ease and relaxed, it's easy to let it go, to not be concerned about it. Next thing I do is to buy, try to be free from the prison of time. By which I mean, I let go of all past, all thoughts of the past, all plans for the future. I do that out of kindness to myself. I deserve to be free for a few minutes, or even longer. Now is where your future is made. Now is the only reality you can perceive accurately. And it's joyful, like being a free person, when you give up the past and the future just for a few minutes. How free it feels just to be here right now and not have this big weight of the past to carry. No big burden of future responsibilities and worries to keep carrying. You rest in this moment. to rest even deep more deeply. Don't try and make a description of this moment. See if to lessen the thinking and descriptions. Not to be intellectual, but experience, sure. How does it feel to be now? And keep it natural. Please don't try and do things. Just observe what's already come into your awareness right now. The 
best experiences in meditation are the unexpected. So invite the unexpected in. I will be quiet for the next five or six minutes.
it is getting close to end of this meditation session. Don't open your eyes straight away. I always try to reserve the last few minutes of meditation to understand how I feel. Notice the physical sense of peace the emotional inside sense of peace and contentment. Feel it. So I know what peace feels like. I know how it's generated how to keep it strong and maintain it so that peace lasts and I have that peace in my mind I can open my eyes and keep it there for the world I invite you to do the same Understand, perceive, touch, touch the peace. And as I ring the bell, bring that peace out into the world. Great.